It's a 50 million pound bid for Lisandro Martinez submitted by Manchester United. It's the realistic price that Ajax wanted in there for you as far as they value this player in there for you. We are talking Lisandro Martinez. We are talking about the leaked kit of Manchester United in there for you. Three players modeling in it and then we are talking Dian Levitt, who has left Manchester United. Welcome to our channel, which goes by the names of United Matters Channel. I go by the names of Rock and David. Smash the like button, comment and share. And if at all you're watching us for the very first time, endeavor to go into the lower right bottom corner. Smash that subscription button for smashing it. Hit the notification bell that will enable you to get notified each and every time I upload a video onto this channel in there for you. I go by the names of Rock and David. You guys are giving me mad views mud subscription let's smash the like button to 1000 likes guys on this video let's hit 1000 likes on this video because lisandro martinez is just one step away from being a united player in here for you onto this channel so if at all you're watching us for the very first time endeavor to go into the lower right bottom corner smash the subscription button after smashing it hit the notification bell that will enable you get notified each and every time i put a video onto this channel of ours which goes by the names of united matters channel we only do things concerning manchester united that's what matters to our lives that's the club we supported for close to two decades and we're here to really see to it that we really bring you things that you guys love in there for you good morning guys good afternoon good evening and where are you watching in from united kingdom topping the list nigeria coming in uganda coming in kenya south africa ghana and every person in every corner of the world watching this channel a five finger salute guys thank you for the love and i pass it back to you by bringing you the latest news and information as far as manchester united is concerned right now let's set the ball rolling in there for you it's official dylan dylan levitt has completed a permanent transfer from manchester united to dundee united for undisclosed fee subject to international clearance he joins for a fee of a mutual <laughs> i'd gone to my mother language he joins to a fee of around three hundred thousand pounds in there for you and the source is doing united and manchester united in there for you so that is the lad who goes by the names of den deli levitt he has been at manchester united for some long time in there for you so he leaves united and he's going to dunde in there for you he came in in 2019 and he has been here until 2022 those are three years failed to cross through to the big team and he is really gone to be that side of a side which goes by the names of dunde wish you the best mr mr levitt i know i've been seeing you playing for the for the well welsh that is the Wales national team he's going to be playing the world cup and that is him being unveiled in there for you in a side which goes by the names of dunde holding that flag remember dunde is orange and black they play in the scottish league in there for you so he has gone to play that side to see to himself really finding himself a future in his football in his game of football so we wish you the best but we would have loved you at manchester united but your talent couldn't really stand you or make you or keep you at manchester united now we have leaked photos of bruno fernandez scott mctominy and victor linderoff in the 2022 slash 2023 home kit of manchester united that is bruno fernandez how is he looking the kit is going to be out today that is bruno fernandez bogus i just see him in there for you then that is scott mctominy modeling into that jersey of manchester united to me it really looks good it's better than that of last year it really looks great i like the color i like i like dxc the new company how it really appears on the sleeves you get on the shoulders on the shoulders you get i really like it i don't know how you guys rate it but i'm in love with it adidas thank you very much for this design this one is so much loved by me i'm going to be tempted to go and get one victor linderoff in that long sleeve jersey of united in there for you so that is manchester united is jersey and kit in there for it has been leaked to take but remember it's going to be unveiled today by manchester united we don't know whether ronaldo is going to be in this jersey has he modeled in it you get so 
we are asking ourselves to know whether Ronaldo is going to be part of this. But all in all, those are the three players modeling into that jersey of Manchester United that has just leaked this morning in there for you. But in the next one or two hours, it's going to be leaked and these players are going to be on plane going to a side which goes by the names of Bangkok where they are going to train and play Liverpool on Tuesday. That's it. All right. Let's get into the stories that you guys are really wanting in there for you. Lisandro Martinez is the guy we are talking about today. He is all over and I know he has the reason to be all over because he's being wanted by the biggest club in the world. To me, United is the biggest club in the world. If you doubt it, you doubt it with your own opinion and just know every human is entitled to his own opinion so i'm entitled to my own opinion too because i support united you can't tell me that united is not the biggest it is i mean it's us not being able to win trophies that doesn't put us away from not being the biggest club in the world you get we've done this for decades but every every there is a rise you get a rise and and there is a rise and fall then we rise again the way united is rising with Eric Ten Hag, I'm 100% sure we are really going to get back to where we're supposed to be because even things things at Manchester United are trying to be put into the perfect order by the board in their way because they've now got to know that even if you inject in a lot of money without a structure, nothing is going to change. That's something that never really hit the head of our former CEO, Ed Woodward, right in his head. Even if you have the money, we don't have a structure. You won't operate. That's why you see Man City successful because they first went to Barcelona and got the administration that used to work with Pep Guardiola. They brought it and put it at Man City. You get? That's why you see everything is moving on well. They do their transfers in time. They negotiate like three months to the summer and they get their transfers in, in time, all on time in there for you. And therefore, you'll see them really doing the needful in the time, in the right time. The reason as to why United is fumbling right now, they are really starting from ground zero. They are laying structures of how a club should be. These are demands that Eric Ten Hag made before he comes in at Manchester United. That's why you are seeing very many people leaving Manchester United because Eric Ten Hag told them that if you want me to work and really deliver the best that you guys want, this is what you should do. So, finally, and finally, it looks like we are going to have a third signing in there for you. And Fabrizio Romano was the first to post this or to tweet this in the night. I was tempted to do this story in the night and said, all right, are my people going to be awake? I said, I'm not going to come in here and do you a disservice by doing this video live in the night. I said, let me wait and really it reaches day and I come in here and I really talk to you guys because this is for you. Man United are planning to push again for Lisandro Martinez. Ten Hag considers him priority target. No intention to give up after opening bid turn down. Lisandro Martinez always been tempted by reunion with Eric Ten Hag but he never refused Arsenal still in the race. You've heard that? That's still in the race but it looks like everything he has decided to go in and do what we call a snub to a team which goes by names of Arsenal. That was Fabricio. Then we are having Gaston Edul came out and really told us that Lisandro Martinez didn't say no to Arsenal. If Manchester United can't agree on a few with Ajax and Arsenal does, he's not opposite of joining Arsenal. But if both agrees, it's Manchester United for him. That means he has chosen Manchester United over Arsenal in there for you. Then this lad going to tell us that Manchester United needs to close the transfer with Ajax right now because the player has chosen them. He went ahead to tell us that Lisandro chose to continue with chose to continue his career at Eric Ten Hag's Manchester United. He was the coach who made him stronger as a player and Lisandro takes that into account in his decision in there for you that is at TYC Sports. This guy who was at TY Sports coming in and really telling us about all this known as Gaston Edol before he really went live on TV he told us that guys I'm going to really come in here and tell you where Lisandro Martinez has really chosen to go. We are on hooks and waiting and on, for the first 30 minutes he was really talking about Lisandro Martinez has already made a decision he doesn't want to play for Ajax in LDVs, he wants to play in the Premier League, and he couldn't hit the, the, the he couldn't hit the nail on its top. But later, as the show really came to its end, 
He then came out and told us that Lisandro Martinez chose to continue with Eric Ten Hag, meaning that Lisandro Martinez chose us, chose Manchester United over Arsenal. Something that I've been coming in here and telling you that better the devil you know than an angel you don't know. Mikel Ateta might have been talking to this player and promising him heaven and earth how his project at Arsenal is better than that of Manchester United, but to Lisandro Martinez. Mikel Ateta is an angel whom he doesn't know. But the devil he knows is at Manchester United. Amidst what United is going through, there is hope with Eric Ten Hag. And Eric Ten Hag got this player way down in Argentina and brought him to Ajax in 2019. He has been with him three years and he really went ahead to renew his contract in December last year. But he put there a clause that if at all their suitors who are really coming in for my career or coming in for my service, you have to accept the money they take and they go. So he agreed a deal in principle and finally he has agreed to come in here and play for Manchester United in there for you. After all that coming in through, then mark the wage. This lad works for the Telegraph in Netherlands. He's so much, so much on point that he broke the news of Eric Ten Hag being interviewed by Manchester United. He was the past, first journalist to break the story and it came to be true. And he also broke the story that United have agreed terms with Eric Ten Hag and is going to be the Manchester United permanent manager. He's the one who leaked that photo of Eric Ten Hag going to his agent, meeting his agent in there for you. And it was all over and it really came to happening. So in the dew of the night, he broke the story, breaking. Man United have placed a 15 million euro offer for Lisandro Martinez, which includes bonuses. Oh my God. Oh my God. If you're not knowing about the player we're talking about, let me give you a brief summary about him. Harry Maguire is taller than Lisandro Martinez. Lisandro Martinez is like 1.5. When you look at Lisandro Martinez in there for you, he's like 1.5. Harry Maguire is really a tower of a lad. You get? Harry Maguire is really a tower of a lad. When you look at Lisandro Martinez, he's 100 and he's like 1.75 meters. You get? I'm looking for Harry Maguire, right? He's 1.7 meters. So Harry Maguire is 1.9 almost three, 0 0.3 meters, 0 0.3 meters taller than this lad. But do you know that however, however much this guy is short, he has the same aerial duels won with Harry Maguire. Doesn't that shock you? Doesn't that shock you? When I looked at his stats, when I looked at his stats, this is when I got to know that he is really needed by Eric Ten Hag because he is good. I mean, it's him being short. He can jump to the level of Harry Maguire. You get? That's this guy. And Mike Vawage coming out and breaking the story that United has really made the real evaluation of Ajax because Ajax said we want 50 million euros for this guy. 50 million euros are like 43 million pounds plus bonuses in there for you. So that means this bid is not going to be turned down. And guess what? After they submitted this bid, this is what really came in through from Mark Verwage. He said, the people within the technical area of Ajax together with the board of directors will this Friday sit down together to decide whether they can allow themselves to refuse the 50 million euros offer from Manchester United for Lisandro Martinez. Then that means the deal is done. They are going to sit and discuss about it because the first bids of Manchester United were turned down. As Fabrizio already came out and told you, you need to put in a 45 million euro bid and Arsenal was still at 40. And they said, no, we want 50 million euros. And the reason that's why Ajax is acting like this, United didn't go early enough to get in these players. Ajax has sold very many players. Andre Onana to Inter Milan, Mazzurui to Bayern Munich, Graven Bach to Bayern Munich, Sebastian Haller to a side which goes by the names of Borussia Dortmund, you get, 
and there are others. Even Taglifico is going to decide which goes by the names of Olympic Lyon after missing out on Terrell Malasia. It means that they're looking out for the left back and they're going in for Taglifico, a left back that was playing for Everton Hag at Ajax. You get? So they are losing very many players and what they're saying is Julian Timber and Lisandro Martinez, only one can go. But for any of those that is leaving, we need 50 million euros because they are now they are now satisfied you get their stomachs are full of money because they've gathered lots of money and now they say we are selling lisandro martinez at 50 million euros that's why even when united put up 45 million euros they said no but if at all united had gone earlier at 30 million euros they would have got lisandro martinez or julian timber but even if united was to pick julian timber over lisandro martinez he would have gone for 50 million euros and those that don't know, and those that don't know why Julian Timber never came to Manchester United amidst us agreeing terms and conditions, everything done, it's because Van Hal, the coach of the Netherlands national team, came out and told him that, please, please, if you go to Manchester United and you don't get enough playing time, you're not going with me in Qatar. So Julian Timber said, let me stay at Ajax. Maybe I'll embrace that move way back later in the January transfer window with Ajax in there for you. So that's the reason as to why we've missed out. We missed out on Julian Timba. And Eric Ten Hag said, let me go to my second choice, who is Lisandro Martinez. And there are very many options. Lisandro Martinez and Paul Torres, they're almost in the same range. You get? Because Paul Torres is in 50, 45 million euros, 50 million euros. The same applies to Lisandro Martinez. But... If ever much the body is going to see it, a decision was already taken and made that of the two defenders, if one is taken, one is staying. And United have chosen to go in for Lisandro Martinez after that Julian Timber snub. Then they've put in the realistic amount of money and I hope they are really going to accept it and let the lad come in to Manchester United in there for you. Then Mark Vowage continued to say that Lisandro Martinez can triple his salary and has made it clear that he wants to make the next step in his career. Eric Ten Hag considers him as an important building block in the development of his new Manchester United in there for you. This is right because this lad plays in three different positions. He can play on the left side of the central defense, he can play as a left back, and he can play in the central midfield. That's why Eric Ten Hag looks at him as an integral of an integration in his squad that he believes he is really going to use to do what he needs to build on. He needs a player that knows him in the central defense. He needs a player that knows him in the midfield. You get? That's why he's trying to get in De Jong and Ericsson is already done. He has, he's supposed to go and he's supposed to undergo a medical and then be unveiled as a United player in there for you. So he's going to double his salary. That's it. And foremost, Eric Ten Hag considers him as an important building block in the development of his new Manchester United. Obviously, Obviously, because these players, when you look at that, that the training sessions at Ajax, they used to play, they used to play that those interpasses very easily, and that ball couldn't be dropped. But when you look at United really doing it, you can see few players. I saw Malasia is good at that. Martial, um, Sancho, um, who else? Danny Van Bink. Um, so we have few players who are really comfortable on that ball, especially in that quick passing that Eric Ten Hag wants because his builder play is supposed to be quick, fast, and accurate. That means Eric Ten Hag. He needs, to, he needs his players to be so much press resistant. He needs them to be good on the ball. He needs them to take the time they need to see to it that everything is going on as planned in there for you. So he's going to double his salary. You get and this is a this is a once in lifetime opportunity for Lisandro Martinez. Look at David Neres. I always watch his clips. David Neres, the season he had at Ajax, even Anthony never had it last season. But they say they're not going to sell him, and Ajax made a loss. So if at all David Neres had made that move and made and went to any team that winned him, he would have been on a different level. But if at all you stay at Ajax right now they are going to develop more central defenders you get who are having your qualities and are better than you because the game of football is all about statistics so that's why lisandro martin is saying come rain come sunshine 
I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Because for him, he comes from he comes from far away, South America, and he knows how 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 hard it was for him to reach here. And if at all he's going to play for Manchester United, he can't look back. He can't look back. He's doubling, he's tripling his salary. And this is a once-in-life opportunity for a lad who goes by the names of Lisandro Martinez. Even Telegraph has come out and really confirmed that Manchester United have made a new bid of 50 million euros for Lisandro Martinez, which includes easily attainable bonuses. I actually consider the offer today in there for you. So everything is happening today for Lisandro Martinez, and I know we are really going to get some good news, or here we go in there for you, because personal terms are not going to be an issue, because for Lisandro Martinez, even if he to get him £100,000 a week, he will accept it. He will accept it, because at Ajax, I don't believe he was earning more than even £30,000 a week. So I 100% believe this deal is done. This bid is going to be accepted by Ajax. It's undeniable. And Lisandro Martinez is going to be a player of Manchester United. So guys, your thoughts are welcome to all the stories we've really got to work on. Lisandro Martinez bid, 50 million bid for United Red. This is undeniable. Then we are talking. Is cool. Levitt. Crossing from Manchester United on a permanent deal to Dundee United. Then there is that leaked kit of United that I've shown you Bruno, Linderoff, and Scott McTominay modeling in it. Feel free to go to the comment section. Tell me what you think about the stories we've really broadcasted today, and your reactions will be welcome in the comment section below. Thank you guys who are really commenting, who are smashing the like button, who are subscribing. Let's grow this channel, guys. Let's be part of history. I want us to be here 10 years later. And you guys will be in the comments saying that, do you know that I've been here, I've been on this channel since 2002, 2022. This is what we want and the Lord is going to make it happen. Thank you guys for watching again. Rokan David is my name. You can look for me on all social media platforms. You can look for Rokan Media Football. You can look for United Matters channel. And we will continue the conversations off here onto YouTube. I sign out for now. See you later. May the Almighty God protect you and give you all what you guys deserve. I'm out.